So how AI impacts inequalities is a really big question that we grapple with. I think w within the US, we can see that some groups are going to lose, that uh, white collar clerical workers are likely to be displaced and a form of automation by AI. We don't necessarily, and, and we can see, for example, from the data that, that the people who have these jobs tend to be younger, they tend to be uh, women, um, and it may be the case that some of the more vulnerable are in second or third tier cities, for example. But what we don't see is yet is the new task creation. So who's going to have new things to do, new tasks that are productive, new tasks going to be well compensated? It could be the same demographic groups. It could be different demographic groups. Where are they going to be situated geographically? There's a question mark on that. So for sure, AI is going to impact inequality. It, it'd be hard not to, right? Because any new technology is going to have some of this shifting of demand and supply impact. But exactly how AI plays out, we don't know. We, we suggest that you can move the technology in a direction that would be increasing what we call pro-worker AI, and that would be good for wages of people who, for example, didn't go to college. That's a policy recommendation we have and a private sector um, initiative, if you like. Whether or not that actually happens, I think the, the jury remains out. Globally, uh, I, there's even more question marks, but we can certainly see some worrying signs that um, AI-driven automation uh, will impact negatively white-collar workers, people running customer service, for example, in the Philippines or in India uh, and other places. And, and if AI becomes effectively connected to manufacturing processes, particularly the kind of manufacturing processes that are um, labor-intensive and, and widely used in lower-income countries, uh, basic sewing of garments, for example, gluing of shoes, assembly of electronics, uh, then that, that's even more impactful. Now, we are some distance from that, and it's also not clear, even if you've invented the technology to automate a factory, is it really worth your while? Does it pay economically to do that? Th those questions remain to be determined. But I think th the impact on inequality in the United States is likely to be an increase in inequality to some extent. That's my provisional. Um, assessment. Globally, I think it could be an even bigger increase in inequality. I think the opportunities that will come from AI-powered everything in the United States are going to be immense, and, and the technology will be shared broadly in economies with more labor and more labor-intensive um, advantages when, when things are more labor-intensive and lose those advantages, because all the advantages shift towards the AI-intensive technologies.